All right, so this video is on ionization energy. And ionization energy is defined as the amount of energy needed to pull an electron off an atom. So if something has a high ionization energy, it's very hard to do this because it requires a great deal of energy. If something has a low ionization energy, it's very easy to do this because it has a very low amount of energy required. So like before, we're going to compare um, two atoms in this case carbon and nitrogen. So this is the Bohr model for carbon, this is the Bohr model for nitrogen. And I'm going to ask myself, which one of these atoms is going to have a higher ionization energy? In other words, which one's going to be harder to pull an electron off? So you're always going to try to pull off one of the outer electrons when you do this, because they're a little bit easier, they're farther out. And the question is, which one's going to be harder to do that? So they both have the same number of rings, they have two rings each, one, two, but the big difference is the number of protons. So carbon has six and nitrogen has seven. So that means nitrogen is pulling in with a force of 7 protons, carbon is pulling in with a force of 6. So nitrogen's pulling a little bit more strongly. So if I want to get this electron away, I'm going to have to pull even stronger to get it away. So therefore, nitrogen will have the higher ionization energy than carbon. And nitrogen's further on the right, so the general trends as you move towards the right on the table, we expect the ionization energy to increase. So within a row, you're adding protons, and as you add more protons, it's going to get harder and harder within each row to pull an electron off the atom. So now we're going to compare two other atoms. Again, this one's nitrogen, seven protons, seven electrons. This one's phosphorus. So they're in the same column on the table. Which one of these is going to be harder to pull an electron away from? So again, we're going to be pulling off one of these outer electrons. And like before, phosphorus has more protons, so you might think it's pulling harder, but a lot of these extra protons are negated by the electrons in between. They're kind of canceled out. The more important thing is how far away this electron is compared to this one. This one's much farther away from the nucleus, so it's going to make it easier to escape because it's so far away compared to nitrogen. Whereas nitrogen's in the second row, these protons, since they're so much closer, have a greater effect. So it turns out with rings, the fewer shells you have, the higher ionization energy you have. Whereas the more shells you have, the lower ionization energy you have, because it's easier to escape. So that's going to bring up the trend that as you go up the table, the ionization energy is going to increase. So again, couple that with the trend that we had earlier, that going to the right makes it increase. You can say just generally, as you move up and to the right, ionization energy increases. Just like it's the opposite of the periodic table trend. Again, if the staircase is the moderate point, Moving up and to the right, the extremes are in opposite corners of the table. So helium will have the highest ionization energy, and francium will have the lowest ionization energy, generally speaking, on the table. Putting this to practice, we have some comparisons. So O and S. So we find O and S. O is farther up and to the right. So we can be confident O is going to have a higher ionization energy. But the real rationale is that it has fewer shells and again, fewer shells makes it harder to pull an electron off because that outer shell is closer to the nucleus. We look at RB and TC. So there's RB and there's TC. So again, TC is farther to the right. So the main reason that it's going to be harder is it has more protons because they each have the same number of shells. Between S and AR, AR is farther to the right than S. So again, and the reason primarily is more protons. So within a row, left or right, it's primarily protons that affects the ionization energy. Up and down, it's primarily the rings that affects the ionization energy. And that is the trend for that. So until next time, I am Derek Snova. Have a delightful day.